Hi, this is Ed Millett from Old Maine Homes. This is the third installment of homes that were listed in Maine from 1910 to 1960. I'm holding the home of Booth Tarkington in Kennebunkport, Maine. Booth Tarkington was an author in the early 1900s, and two of his books were The Magnificent Ambersons and The Gentleman from Indiana. He also wrote a book called Penrod in three installments. Penrod was so popular at the time that this house was called the house that Penrod built. As I said, it's located in Kennebunkport, overlooking the harbor. It has 35 acres of land, and the listing price was $50,000, which of course in 1947 was a lot of money. But in perspective, someone bought this house a few years ago and turned it into four condominiums, each one selling for a million dollars. Boo Tarkington is in a class with another well-known United States author, William Faulkner. William Faulkner and Boo Tarkington were the only two authors to win the Pulitzer Prize twice. I also want you to know that even though I've been highlighting some of the more famous people that live in Maine, that we just have uh, 5,000 of houses listed for sale in all towns and cities throughout the state. Portland, South Portland, Cape Elizabeth, some homes in uh, Portland on a street, I have almost every house. And you can buy these matted and framed, or you can buy them without the mat and frame. You call me at 207-767-5678 or email at one at main.rr.com. That's email it with one T, the number one, and main spelled out. I'll be speaking to you uh, in the future about some other famous people who uh, have lived in the state of Maine. One that comes, comes to mind is Kurt Russell. His father moved Kurt and the family to California in 1950 from Rangeley Lake. And someone told me last year that uh, they were in Rangeley and spotted Goldie Hawn. Kurt Russell's father was on Gunsmoke and he was the sheriff. So stay tuned. And we'll have some more main interesting real estate in the future. This is Ed Millett. Talk to you later.